read the recent viral LinkedIn article of mine, you will know that I almost got kicked out of my alma mater, which is I am in the bath. And someday I'll share that story here on YouTube as well. I'll show you all the receipts, the screenshots, everything. But today is not that day. Today I want to sit and talk to you about a few things that I wish I had known before I started my MBA journey, before I went to B school. Because when I went to B school, I didn't really know anyone else who had gone to IIM Ahmedabad before me in, say, uh, the recent decade. Um, but lucky for you, you have me to give you the advice that I didn't have so that you don't have to figure it out along the way. For those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Priya Chatterjee Ray and I graduated from the Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad or IIM Ahmedabad in 2023 at the top of my class. I was an institute scholar and I was also lucky enough to receive a pre-placement offer from McKinsey & Company, which is arguably the best consulting firm in the industry. Um, before I graduated. So that's enough about me. Let's talk about this transformative journey that is going to business school. When you start this um, B-School journey, it is a very exciting yet challenging endeavor that you take up because it has the possibility and the capability of not only shaping your um, career growth, but also your personal growth. And as you embark on this educational journey, it's crucial to be well prepared to adopt some strategies that will help you make the most of it, right? While you navigate this dynamic environment of business school, it's essential to prioritize building strong relationships, not just with your peers and faculty, but beyond that as well, because it is these connections that provide um, invaluable support, insights and opportunities in the rest of your academic and uh, professional journey. You know, so when I sit here to give you advice, I am basically trying to tell you that you should go ahead and engage actively in class discussions, um, group projects and extracurricular activities and not just spend all your time studying, studying, studying. You have to remember to approach every interaction with curiosity, empathy and a willingness to learn um, from diverse perspectives, because when you look at a B-School classroom, right, it is all about diversity. That's why they want to go beyond just engineers or beyond commerce students. They want to bring in diverse perspectives so that you as a student can learn something in the classroom. Um, cultivating these relationships uh, will not only enrich the experience that you have in the classroom, because there is so much that you can learn from everyone's experiences. It will also benefit you long after you graduate. And regarding this, I'll provide you a very important tip at the end, but you have to stay tuned for that. That said, um, this was just an introduction which has gone on for too long. So let's talk about the five tips that I want to share with you as you start your B-School journey now. So let's start with tip number one. Tip number one is to set clear goals. And these are not the goals that you tell your interviewers about in the GDPI journey, right? We're not asking you your short-term goals or your long-term goals. These goals are more personal and to do with what you expect to gain out of B-School. For example, what are your academic goals? Do you want academic excellence? Are you here to learn or do you just want an IR? Or do you want the entire B-School experience? Each of these goals will shape your B-School journey in a different way. You'll have to approach your interactions, approach your activities in a different way. For example, if you're here for academic learning and if you want to learn from your B-School experience, you will take courses that are very different from the ones you'll have to take if you want to have an IR. Similarly, if you want the complete B-School experience, just studying will not be enough. You will have to participate in case comms, you will have to participate in extracurricular activities, you will have to party when you can uh, get the time to do it. You have to also take up projects and internships that go beyond just the summer internship that you have to do as part of your B-School curriculum. How you spend your time or how you allocate your time to these different activities depends completely on what your goals are when you start your B-School journey. And these are goals that you have to decide for yourself so that you know what to prioritize and what to spend your time on. Coming to point number two, understand that academics is rigorous, so learn to manage your time effectively. IIMs in general and the B-School I went to in particular, which is IIM Ahmedabad, are known to have very, very rigorous academic curriculums. For example, if you haven't heard this already, the A in IMA stands for academics. It's supposed to be very, very difficult. It's supposed to be tough. It's supposed to be challenging. And oftentimes I've heard um, loud statements like, you know, you can't sleep, party and study at the same time. You have to choose only one of the two, uh, one of the three. But when I tell you that that's not true, I am not kidding. You can 
totally do all three of them i did and still come out the winner right you just have to find a method to the madness whether you wrap up your pre reads before the day ends whether you split the responsibilities amongst your friends whether you use a watertight scheduler whatever it is that you do you find something or you find a way to do it early on and you stick to it um for example i personally had three different schedulers or um planners that i used to maintain my tasks and all my obligations right i had a google calendar i had a planner that i used and i also used the whiteboard that was in my room uh, to maintain a list of my to do lists i even went so far as to add in times to party or or times to participate in extracurricular activities in there because once i accounted for that time in my schedule i knew i could actually set it out and do it um this basically along with the addition of breaks and other such distractions in your calendar this addition uh, what it does it helps you build the sort of discipline that is needed to meet deadlines because everything about b school is meeting deadlines as long as you account for the time that you are spending while knowing that academics is difficult you will be able to manage um efficient time management is crucial of course when it comes to excelling in academic pursuits while actively participating in other campus activities as well and the reason i say this is because a lot of your cv building or your resume building happens while you are in b school so it is very important for you to go just beyond this very stressful academic scenarios right you have to learn to participate in any and all activities that are available in the first few weeks and months of your b school so that you can add many many more things to your cv um the importance of which you will only learn when you start first term and you start building your own cvs so long story short make sure you know from the get go that academics is going to be tough make sure you figure out how you're going to be dealing with academics be it using um splitting of responsibilities doing it all yourself using schedules um making time for breaks making time for eating making time for partying whatever it is build your schedule keep it watertight and stick to it and make sure that you participate in any and every activity that you possibly can point number 3 is about building a strong network any time i open youtube i am hit with a never ending barrage of either questions or videos that have the title does the iim tag really matter as an alumnus of arguably the best iim in the country let me answer that for you yes it matters but it doesn't matter in the way you think it does the biggest takeaway from going to an iim or a reputable business school is the network that you build in that business school and that is something that ima gives you great access to you have some of the best alumni in the world that graduate from iim and the path but there are also other universities and other business schools that give you the exposure to similar networks that are very very strong um the one that i'm talking about specifically here is the shri ram swarup memorial university it is a place where you can get access to this complete business school experience because it was actually established and is continued to be governed by two iit gold medalists with over 25 years of hands on experience in managing um reputed colleges In fact the reviews for their programs be it management commerce or law are extremely highly rated and their young motivated and highly um qualified faculty keeps you at the top of your toes at the top of your game because they ensure that you have the best access and the best possible um opportunities whether it comes to academics or networking they also have advanced labs which ensure that you get the best hands on experience that is possible when it comes to knowledge exposure Since we're talking about the complete B school experience let me just share with you some other features that come with this university that I read about that you should also be very very interested in Firstly every year they offer scholarships of over rupees 5 crore to ensure that as many students as possible can avail scholarships or tuition fee waivers up to 100% um if you haven't understood what that means it basically means that the ROI from this university is skyrocketing because a complete fee waiver a uh, couple with the kind of jobs that you get out of this university crazy they have also collaborated with leading research and academic organizations like isro remember when i spoke to you about knowledge exposure and hands on experience that's where this comes in 
Since I've spoken about ROIs, let's talk about the job offers that are in store for you when you graduate out of SRMU. It has been recorded that they receive over 1500 job offers from the top 250 corporates in various sectors and record an average package of nearly 4.5 lakhs per annum in fields like management and computer science. Moreover, they have gone on record to state that they've had 100% placement records in several fields as well. Um, they have robust programs like an MBA, management, media studies, law, etc. And they also have value added programs like a BBA in FinTech, a BBA with IBM, etc. I've spoken a lot about them, but I will leave a link to SRMU in the description box below that you can tap on to check them out for yourself. And we can move on to the next tip that I have to share. Point number four is all about embracing diversity and participating actively in class. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Business school is a melting pot of cultures, backgrounds and experiences. And it is your job to make sure that you learn from this diversity, that you embrace this diversity and try to seek opportunities where you can learn from the experiences and um, backgrounds of your peers. Engaging with individuals from various backgrounds will broaden your perspectives and enhance your ability to work in multicultural teams, which is a very important thing in the globalized world we live in today. Um, what I saw happening in IMA more than anything else was this building of cliques. There was the Tamil group, there was the Bengali group, there were the engineers. Um, and the problem with that is that when you stop leveraging the perspectives of those separate from you, you start falling behind. You no longer have anything to learn because you get stuck in a sort of echo chamber. But when you embrace these diversities, when you communicate, when you actively engage with people who are very, very different from you, um, you either get a devil's advocate or you get a sounding board and you are able to think better. You are able to build better um, value and better synergies, if you will. Um, an extension of this is to participate in class. Yes, this is a way to get class participation marks, which is something that all business schools have these days. And it does help your grades a lot, but it is so much more than that. Participating in classroom discussions um, are often concentrated around case studies. So not, not only does it question your analytical skills and your decision-making skills, it also showcases your communication ability. So it helps you make an impact when you are in B-School. For example, I was always known as the person who had come after reading the cases and always had something or the other to say in every classroom discussion. So I came to be known as the person who you can rely on to read the case, someone that will, no matter what, share her opinions. It gives, it helps you make an impact and maybe lets people remember you outside of the classroom because at the end of the day, it's a batch of 400. What are you doing to stand out in that batch? Okay, I saved the most important point for the last and this is what it is. Embrace or utilize the career services that B-School makes available to you. Take advantage of these career services, um, seek guidance from your seniors for CV building, interview preparation and job searches. They have been through this entire process and honestly, I never met a senior on campus who tried to withhold information from me. Um, whatever networks you build may or may not be doing it for their own advantage, but the career services that you get on B-School, um, be it placement um, committee or beyond that, are people who are out there to help you to the best of their ability. I personally found that their advice and the learnings from their experience added so much more to my preparation than any sort of reading or preparing or practicing could have done. So attend career fairs, attend workshops, um, attend PPTs and um, connect with your potential employers and gain these insights into different industries. Don't just sit in your classroom or sit in your room and think everything will come to you on a plate. Make sure you are out there actively trying to learn from people's experiences. Make sure you're out there actively putting yourself in these PPTs, asking questions to the people who come to speak to you about their companies so that again, you make a mark and um, basically learn more and learn and take away more insights than anything else okay so those are the first five tips that i had to share with you about starting business school and um, i just want you to know that embarking on an mba journey is a unique opportunity for you to hone your business acumen but also your leadership skills you have to remember that an mba can be a transformative journey it can make you as a person but you have to approach it with um 
the correct strategy and I hope that this video is perhaps the first step in that direction. Um, I hope this video helped you so make sure to comment and let me know if you want me to keep up this tips series going. Um, also make sure to comment and let me know when you're starting your business school journey and where you're going. I think that'll be really interesting for me to know. Um, for the people who want to know more about what life at IMA is like, I will leave a link to my day in my life in IMA video which you can check out and see what exactly we do even on days that are relatively chill. There's no chill in IMA. And um, you can basically see how I split my time. It, it was very regimented. You can see the to-do lists in the background also in that video, I think. Also, make sure to check out SRMU, whose link is going to be in the description box. I think that sums up everything I had to say for this video. Make sure you like and share this video with other friends of yours who are starting B-School this year. And that's all I had to say. So best of luck and I'll see you next time.